light one candle for peace because the world is broken and the wait is long, but we refuse to be frozen by fear. Peace comes in fits and starts, a deep breath, a courageous truth, a humble heart. Prepare the way, she whispers, for the Lord comes to make the broken whole. So we light one candle because it only takes one, Christ with us. Welcome to this week's midweek Advent meditation for the second Wednesday in the season of Advent. It is our focus tonight on the word peace. It's one of the four candles as we light around the Advent wreath. And I wonder, when you think of the word peace, what comes to mind? What word or image or experience or thought or hope, especially right now, comes to mind? I am drawn to the text from John's Gospel, John 14, verse 27, when Jesus says, My peace I leave with you. I do not give as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not let them be afraid. We have every reason right now to feel like we're walking with some troubled hearts, to have worries and concerns and fears, the challenges, the troubles of what we know or what we fear or what we wonder about. It's real and it's, it's all around us. It's been quite a year, um, certainly with the pandemic, with social unrest around issues of racial equality, not to mention just the normal stuff that happens in our lives, um, comings and goings, relationships, death of loved and beloved people in our lives. I mean, things still keep going on. And I know for myself, the word I often find myself desiring most or the thing I find myself desiring is peace. But it feels like kind of an overrated word, like, oh, Jesus, give me peace. Or, oh, all I want is peace and balance in my life. And, oh, if I just had peace, everything would be great. I sometimes joke with my children, though they don't always take it very well. I want this. I want that. Well, I want world peace, and we'll see how that goes. Right? We just throw this word around, and we don't always really, I think, give a whole lot of thought to what it feels like to have peace. This peace that Christ gives, this peace that the Spirit enlivens in us when that space for it is made, that kind of holy, sacred space. I read an article a few months ago um, that unpacked an ancient Greek word called acidia. I think I'm saying that right. A-C-E-D-I-A. And this article was using this word to say it's kind of the emotion that a lot of us are walking around feeling right now, but we don't actually have a word for. Um, it can kind of feel like listlessness, um, like sloth or lazy or just kind of here, just kind of existing. Only acedia is deeper than that. It's a spiritual kind of emotion. It's a real wrestling with where is God in this place and in this time and in this experience. And I don't know, for me, I think it kind of gets to where's the peace? Where's the peace of mind? Where's the peace of spirit? Where's the peace among people? Where's the peace among faith communities? Where's the peace among nations? Jesus Christ, Lord of all, where is the peace? And then we turn to this season of Advent, where we wait, where we're called to not rush ahead to Christmas, but to kind of enter this time of holy wondering and wandering. We talked about wilderness in our sermon from Sunday. We're wandering in this wilderness place. We are searching and seeking and yearning for this peace of Christ. And there are some days we just do not have it. We just don't. It feels unattainable. We feel like that listless, lost, uncertain being. But then something drops in. A holy nugget, right? Uh, a Holy Spirit moment where all of a sudden something connects. And it's this moment of experienced 
peacefulness, right? This moment that is full of the only thing we can really describe it as is peace in Christ and in one another and with those that we love. This past Sunday night, we had our um, first ever, I don't know, maybe annual, we'll see, drive through visit with St. Nicholas. And I didn't really know what to expect, right? You try something for the first time, it can flop, it can fly, yeah, you have no idea. And in these days, you really have no idea. But I got to visit with some of you as you came through the line. Um, and there was one visit in particular I hadn't seen this family for a while and like the sight of them just like filled me with joy like I can't even describe it just this feeling of oh I love you and I miss you and I just want to reach out and touch you and hug you and I can't but there was this sense of peace at the same time like I wanted to cry there was peace in that moment all those days that feel like I don't know what's going on and I don't know where God is at in all of this and oh this just is confusing and troubling and hard and challenging and Jesus like why literally is this happening why do we have to live through this time and then you get that glimpse that you've been waiting for right nine months since I've seen this family in the flesh but it was a glimpse not just of them it was a glimpse of the holy it was an experience of peacefulness. There are these moments in my story and in your unfolding story where God delivers just a nugget, just enough to get us through. Sometimes a lot of peace. And isn't that amazing when we just, it just comes flooded and we feel it and it's good. Sometimes it's just enough. But we trust and we lean into it. Because God tells us throughout scripture, do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. I bring you peace. The spirit descending like a dove upon Jesus in the waters of baptism, I give you peace. There throughout his ministry, ministering and loving upon people for whom the rest of his society pushed the margins, he brought peace and he brings it to us. So my hope, my prayer for you this day is that somewhere in a small way or in a big way, God would deliver that nugget of peace that you most need. Lighting that candle around the Advent wreath week by week as we journey to Christmas, to the Christ child incarnate who was sent to bring us that peace, the Prince of Peace for whom we wait. Peace be with you, says Jesus. My peace I leave with you. Let that be enough for today. Let that be enough. Amen.